Oh, thanks, Chris. Mum, because uh, she was there from day one and she'll always be there, so definitely find my mum on these final hours. Yeah. Very good question, so now. Um, uh, my final meal would be something that hopefully I caught. So maybe some fresh oysters or some abalone. And then maybe, hopefully I spearfished a nice bit of tuna. That'd be really nice. Yeah. And then uh, just, yeah, sashimi style, we'll grill that. And then for dessert, maybe some homemade, homemade cookies from mum. They're always pretty good, pretty special. Can I share the recipe? No. Um, my superpower would be. Oh, that's a good one. Let's go back in time. Who would I see? Mm, my first love, I'd say my first love, yeah. Um, James is just someone that is lost, I guess, and been self-obsessed and, well, I guess, He's probably someone who had a lot of dreams and it didn't ever work out for him. So then he's just turned angry and blamed himself and become a victim of his own circumstances and his own choices rather than to be a survivor and just say, well, tomorrow's a new day. Um, I think he just got sucked into depression and now with the uh, world ending, it's like, well, we're all in the same boat. So what do you do? You f take flight or you take flight and you fight or flight and you kind of... Um, make the most of what life offers you. So I think James is, finds salvation through an unlikely relationship of a little girl. Um, and the road to redemption means it's never too late to do the right thing. It's never too late to make the world better for yourself or for others, even if it's the last day on earth. So James gets to find a little bit of um, peace, you know, in a, what was a very you know, irresponsible and a very boring life, I think, up to that moment, you know, and all of a sudden he's faced with fatherhood and manhood and coming of age and kind of, how do you want to be remembered? So I think these final hours is cool and James is someone worth remembering in the end. Uh, who's that? Uh-huh. Working with Zach it was just a pleasure. Um, we're Capricorns, so I find a lot of us, the same apples from the same tree, seem to be quite tasting it's quite the same. So um, we get along really well. It was really effortless. Um, he's very honest. His wife is a beautiful mirror, so I, I was very happy to meet his wife. I'm like, if you want to marry someone, they, they says a lot about you, and she's really cool. Um, and he's very, just like, he's honest with his communication and with his script writing and his storytelling. It's very honest. Um, it comes from a good place and he's just a big sci-fi fan and apocalyptic fan and um, I guess he's a big, um, he loves to study human observation and humans and how we operate and I says tink and why do, why do we do things and um, yeah, so it was a very, very enjoyable and um, a very warming experience to be directed by someone who cares about people and that cares about relationships and it shows on the film because he chose all those elements, you know. So, he's quite the alchemist, yes. Hopefully something back in Australia really soon. It's nice to come home. <laughs>